come on up and have a seat. The onboarding process is a lot like you know, somebody just kind of wandering into an emergency department. You know, what's your name? What brought you in? You know, what's been going on in the past? And what can we do for you? And we'll start with, start with that. UC Davis Health and Elica had been talking about this partnership for some time. We love seeing patients in our own clinic. That's a big part of what we do. But we realize that for some patients, that's just not practical. And we have to go to where they are. In the last week, I, I've been exposed to uh, you know, our immigrant population as well as our homeless population. You know, they're really the focus of this outreach. There's a lot of need, more than I ever imagined. And then probably a referral to ENT if it's been going on for so long without any, uh, any uh, improvement. These are people who don't really maybe seek out health care. You know, I'm on the eighth floor of a big medical center and uh, taking the skills I have out into the community. I've, I'm not sure you can have a comfort in doing that unless you've had you know, training and exposure doing it. Well, Ellick and UC Davis can benefit each other because we can get them a spot for clinical rotation and at the same time we may attract some quality nurse practitioners or PAs to come join Ellica because we could always use more providers. Underserved care in California is bigger than any one institution can handle in any one way. UC Davis has always played a tremendous role in taking care of folks with uh, uh, Medi-Cal or even under, underinsured or uninsured folks. This type of partnership with a local entity like Ellica which is a federally qualified health center makes perfect sense. There are lots of people that you know are striving to get health care in a variety of ways and we need to have our students see that what this looks like so that they will go out and be much more thoughtful providers. This is very important, very important for me yeah, because without this I probably wouldn't get the FC treatment at all. Most people that go into family medicine nowadays, it's to serve underserved communities. Our resident physicians will work with the ELICA provider then see patients on the mobile clinic. Every place we've gone, the need is there and it's, it's real. It's uh, life-changing for sure.